Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Well, the brick and mortar battle is reaching new heights. A new report shows 2017 saw a record number of stores shutting down in the U.S. And 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens tells us it's about to adapt or die time for stores all across the country, Jared. Yeah, good morning, Jason, Virginia. We think about all the stores that we've reported on closing around San Diego, Sears, Macy's, Nordstrom's, Toys R Us, Kmart's, Albertsons. It seems like it's every week, and it kind of got us thinking. What's going to happen to all those empty stores now that they've all closed? The sight of an empty Toys R Us makes Emma Lancaster a little sad. I used to just like ask my mom if I could like get toys and she would usually say no, but um, I like, I wish that it was still there. Her grandma, who's taking There's her shopping that. for clothes, yeah. sees all the stores shutting down around San Diego as a sign of the times. It makes you think there's something wrong with the economy. You know, it makes you think that, you know, it's just too bad to see all this empty space. A sentiment echoed by other shoppers. Like never nothing that crosses your mind until you're like, hey, I want to go run into Macy's because I know they have this, but you can't go because they're closing all of them down. Dozens of stores shut down across San Diego in the last year, a trend that played out around the country. A record 7,000 stores closed in 2017 leaving malls the emptiest they've been since the recession. It's not a, a sky is falling, but it is a, a wake up call. Miro Kopik teaches marketing at SDSU. He says malls that lose anchor stores have to get creative to replace them. We're talking 50 to 100,000 square feet, and that's hard to replace. So there's different things that a uh, real estate owner can do. They can subdivide the space and create uh, you know, an expansive food court, uh, sell it to a movie theater. Discount stores like TJ Maxx and Big Lots have picked up the slack, but Copic says malls that modernize have the best chance to survive. A retailer who understands how to capture the new generation and still offer something to the current generation that's of value to them is going to be successful in the long term. Well, there's some good news. Party City has said they'll open 50 pop-up stores in Toys R Us locations this fall to help with the holiday shopping season. Meanwhile, I reached out to Westfield executives about all of their empty spaces. They told me that they're always looking for new ways to innovate, and some ideas could include food courts, entertainment venues, or other stores. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. It's tough, right? Because mm -hmm. it's so easy to order things online. Yeah, and they have to.